Alex Jones here with vital information concerning our nation's fragile food supply. Folks, there are some truly dangerous trends forming, and I think it's important for my listeners to do three things right away. Number one, study the past. History really does repeat itself. Number two, learn to spot the dangerous food shortage trends. Number three, take decisive action. A perfect storm is brewing or a global food crisis. That's why I'm telling everyone to read the new book, Rising Prices, Empty Shelves. Warning signs that trigger the deadliest famines in history. Don't get caught unprepared when the crisis hits. This book is only available at risingpricesemptyshelves.com. You'll also get a free copy of Supermarket Survival, How to Cut Your Grocery Bills in Half. Again, that website is risingpricesemptyshelves.com. That's risingpricesemptyshelves.com. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5 Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5 A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Okay, folks, we don't screen your calls, and we've got more than a score of them there holding. I want to go to you. Uh, I don't know what I can say to you uh, today about Ron Paul to get you angry enough to get the word out to stop this hoax. And we've already seen the fact that the media was ignoring him when he was in second and third place and not mentioning him as a candidate. That blew up a month ago in their face. And uh, now they're back to just scrubbing him from polls he wins and other things. But it's a big deal. And I even hear Ron Paul's supporters saying, too bad he can't win, too bad he's not a top-tier candidate buying the propaganda. And that's why this country is where we are now. Ron Paul is the only candidate that can beat Barack Obama. In fact, they've done major focus groups, Gallup polls, you can pull them up. Ron Paul performs the best in a head-to-head -head run right now with voters across the board. He performs the best against Barack Obama, beating him hands down. They first did these polls six months ago when he was neck and neck. Uh, what's going to happen with a Mitt Romney or a Rick Perry is they're going to get into the campaign, all the dirt's going to come out on them, and Barack Obama's going to end up being president again. But it doesn't matter. In fact, it's almost better that Barack Obama be president uh, instead of Mitt Romney or, or Rick Perry 
because they're all working for the same globalist anti-American interest. And Obama will have spent all his political capital, be absolutely hated, and probably get impeached down the road if he gets reelected. With a Mitt Romney or Rick Perry, it'll be forget about all the stuff Obama did, just like they did with Bush, and it'll take time to expose the new person as a puppet. That's why it's so essential now to expose Rick Perry and Mitt Romney's real record. And we've been doing that with Rick Perry. And I've talked to Ron Paul on and off air. You notice he's gone after Rick Perry for supporting carbon taxes and supporting gun control uh, and supporting NAPA superhighways and supporting forced inoculations and being Al Gore's chief of staff in Texas and supporting Hillary Care. Oh, you're a new listener? You didn't know all those things? I would tell people those things two years ago about Rick Perry nationally because I'm syndicated around the country. And people would call me saying I was a liar. Now they finally went and looked it up and people are like, whoa. Well, let's move on from Rick Perry for a moment. Mitt Romney supports and is praised by Al Gore for supporting carbon taxes that will end industry as we know it in this country. What's left of it? wrote the book, actually wrote the Massachusetts healthcare law that is the Obama model for healthcare. And I've got to see all these dyed in the wool, blue haired type Republicans getting off on Mitt Romney because he's an effeminate Ken doll type. I mean, can't we have somebody that isn't one of these metrosexual pretty boys with their hair cut just right and they look like Ken doll up there? And male cheerleaders like, like Rick Perry with that fake good old boy thing. I mean, it makes me want to throw up. And every time I watch Rick Perry saddling up to some old lady and, you know, telling her, how you doing, sweetie pie, and using some fake charm on him, it makes me want to throw up. So let's go ahead and play this clip. This is Ron Paul in the last debate being asked, who's your running mate going to be? And uh, Ron Paul says, well, I am now in the polls number three. So as soon as I'm number one or number two, I'll announce who my running mate will be. Think about it. The establishment will not report... That in all the scientific polls, he's number one, number two, or number three. And Paul just says, I'm number three. And you're being told by talk show hosts, local and national, he cannot win. And they get frustrated with all the Ron Paul supporters calling in, like, like, like you're a kook or you're some minority. All we've got to do is expose Rick Perry and Mitt Romney's real record, and it's over for them. We've got three and a half good months ahead of the beginning of the caucuses and primaries in Iowa, Florida, New Hampshire. We can put Ron Paul in there. He is exponentially growing, and he's broken through the first few hoaxes that he can't win. In fact, I told you that Rick Perry's poll numbers would start dropping before he'd even announced he was number one. Now he's fallen to number two, number three, or number four in every poll. Here's Time Magazine out this week, the rise of Rick Perry, and trying to prop him up, trying to say he's the, he's the man. And what does it say? in here on the first page. Give me a document cam shot for viewers. It says, if he can deal with the Tea Party, if he can win them over because they, they don't think he's real, he can win. You see? He's got to become Ron Paul to win. Aggie Yell leader, that means cheerleader, Texas governor, one-time Democrat, since launching his campaign for president, Rick Perry has turned the Republican Party upside down. Can he win over the Tea Party without making independent voters cringe as if the Tea Party's unpopular? The ideas of liberty and freedom and Second Amendment and private property rights, those are extremely popular ideas. But the controlled media says, oh, you're white if you're in the Tea Party. Automatically trying to say if you're black or Hispanic or Asian, you can't be for freedom. It's always about dividing everybody. So here's Rick Perry. Now, what's happened to Rick Perry? Show you this article. Herman Cain wins Florida straw poll in stunning victory. Rick Perry in deep trouble. You know, as slick talking as Alan West is, you notice he went ahead and voted for the spending increase, even though he promised he wouldn't. Same thing with Herman Cain. Pro Patriot Act, formerly worked for the Federal Reserve, pro torture, pro national sales tax. And by the way, now he's announced they're going to keep the income tax as well. It was always the plan to bring in a sales tax or a consumption tax, a VAT tax. That's what the big central banks want. They're not going to get rid of the income tax. They're going to change the name of it. You're not going to get rid of the income tax and get a sales tax. You're going to get both. And I told you that 15 years ago. It's always been the central bank's plan. It's what they're demanding right now in Europe. 
But again, why did folks vote for Herman Cain? He spent the last two years there before he even announced his campaign, basically campaigning there. So he won. Rick Perry didn't win. And what do they say? Herman Cain wins Florida straw poll and stunning victory. Rick Perry in deep trouble. And I agree with the Miami Herald. His poll numbers are plunging. His poll numbers are plunging. What, Rick Perry got 14%, Ron Paul right behind him. And that's in Florida. So again, who can beat Barack Obama in all the major polls in a head-to-head -head race? Ron Paul. Who is undisputedly in third place with the establishment, Democrat, Republican, across the board, telling you he can't win and scared to death of him. And when he does win polls, dragging it off the NBC or Fox websites. Ron Paul. That's who they're scared of. Oh, by the way, uh, I thought I would mention this. Rick Perry literally gets up there as 10 years as governor. He doubled the size of the state budget, doubled taxes, brought in three new taxes, the franchise tax and others that are really a income tax on businesses. Rick Perry, who tried to hand 8,000 miles of roads over to foreign companies and grab hundreds of thousands, if not millions of acres in eminent domain, a guy that's for forced inoculations, on and on and on. While he was governor and made cities sanctuary cities and in-state tuition and all the rest of it, and he said, well, it'd be downright mean in the debate to not give illegals in-state tuition. Really, somebody from Oklahoma doesn't get that coming to Texas. You know, if you go to Mexico, you don't get in-state tuition. If you're an illegal or an immigrant, you get arrested. Mexico has some of the most draconian immigration laws in the world, but that's okay. We're just supposed to have bleeding hearts here and have open borders. By the way, I want Mexico to have freedom. I don't want the UN down there forcing the people off their land up to Mexico City and then north. The point is it's all globalism and the globalists are for it. But 81% of the jobs were immigrants and 95% of those, this is Wall Street Journal, Daily Mail, you name it, 93% of those weren't even legal. 80 plus percent were immigrants and 90 plus percent were illegals. That's the new jobs in Texas because Rick Perry made it the biggest sanctuary state in the country after California. Vicente Fox came here six years ago and gave him awards that I bullhorned. I shut down their speech at the governor's mansion. It's on video, it's online. Just type in Battle for the Republic. That's the name of the documentary. It's in there, online, YouTube. I bullhorned him, and I always get emails going, show me where Rick Perry got awards from Vicente Fox. And I, I, I send people out the email, or I send them the video. Yes, 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 here it is. Immigrants take most jobs in Texas as Americans fill only 20% of vacancies in the state. Here's another one. Did immigrants take most of the new jobs in Texas? Washington Post, 81% of jobs created in Texas since 2007 have gone to newly arrived immigrants, with 93% of which are illegal immigrants. 93% of the 81% of jobs are illegal aliens. That's who Rick Perry is. Carbon taxes, Hillary care. Same thing with Mitt Romney. And you idiot Republicans love getting up there on the radio and supporting it. And you're gonna get what you deserve. A bankrupt, imploded, police state America. You're just as idiots as the Obama supporters. You're idiots. Hello friends, Alex Jones here. You all know I've worked for years with Steve Shank and eFoods Direct. I have eFoods for my own emergency food supply. You know, Steve, life is different now for all of us, isn't it? Very different. People are using this great food to survive the present hurricane season, and we've already had $40 billion worth of damage from floods, storms, quakes, and droughts. And that's just the first eight months of this year. Natural disasters are newsworthy, but only touch a few of us Americans. The huge issue of the Greatest Depression is on everyone's mind. The unemployment, the loss of homes, lost businesses, and skyrocketing food costs are hitting every American. So everyone needs food security. Folks, this month you will get free shipping on every food order from eFoods Direct. That's right. Every order gets free shipping starting September 6th. Get stocked up with the best storable foods out there with eFoods Direct and be prepared for any emergency before it happens. To take advantage of this special, call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Hundreds of nations.